Good morning everyone. In today's session we are supposed to start our new topic that is the electric wake. So these are the contents which we are supposed to see in our today's session. Introduction to the electric vehicle. We are supposed to see its block diagram. So as the name define electric vehicle means what? A vehicle which has a electrical battery instead of a petrol tank and which will have electric motor instead of a internal combustion engine. That vehicle we can say that will be work as a electric vehicle. So we can say here electrical vehicle will uses the battery and it will uses the electrical motor. The electricity will be stored in its battery powers the electric motor and if it is too low the car's battery need to be charged again. How we will do the charging? So we can do the battery recharge by plugging it into use a grid electricity like when we are using our mobile phones at that time, if it get discharged, we are supposed to make it charge. Like that we can make recharging of the electrical vehicle by plugging it into to use a grid electricity. So as here we are using the plug, we can say plug in hybrid that will come with a plug socket and charging that will lead so that you can charge the battery via main supply and here as we are using the electricity we can say they have smaller capacity this model are able to build in electric mode only so here we can say electric motor, electric vehicle that can be run, but that can run only up to 20 to 30 miles because where you will get the electric mode. If it get charged at that time, it can run 20 to 30 miles. So here we can say an amazing perk of an electric vehicle is that what they can be charged at home if we are having charging unit installed at that time we can make usual trips to the nearest petrol station or the charging point so here we can say the thing that really swings most people when it will comes up to an electrical vehicle is that they are much cleaner. They are producing no tailpipe emissions. Their green credential are not able only that convinces to people get electric power. And if we are using the electrical vehicle that will offer really advanced technology that will reduce its cost, that will help to save energy because instead of petrol we can use here electricity so lots of models such as nissan leaf turn off the engine when it gets stopped and actually charge the battery when you break so we can say that braking as a regenerative braking When we are using the electrical vehicle technology at that time we can say that can be used in a hybrid model and it will help to power the electric motor without needing the to plug it into a charge. So we can go further without using the petrol engine. Pioneering manufacturer behind lots of car stocked at 
Nissan, Renault, Tesla that are constantly re-engineering and these are refining their batteries for biggest driver ranges. So here we can say in today's session we are supposed to see electrical vehicle which will use electricity instead of a petrol tank. So these are our learning objectives. Here we are supposed to see the block diagram of electrical vehicle. We are supposed to differentiate between electrical vehicle and the gasoline hybrid vehicle. So we can see the one by one things. If you see the diagram, you can see here the gasoline vehicle. So you can see here the diagram for the block diagram of the gasoline vehicle. So gasoline and diesel vehicles are the similar. They both use internal combustion engines. Gasoline car typically uses here spark ignited internal combustion engine. You can see here the red the internal combustion engine rather than the compression ignited system that we are using in a diesel vehicle. So you can say here when we are using the spark ignited system fuel is injected into the combustion chamber, combustion chamber and a, that will combine with a air. The air fuel mixture is ignited by spark from spark plug. And although gasoline is the most common transportation fuel, there are alternative fuel options that use similar components and the engine system. So here you can see the block diagram of the gasoline system. If you see the key components of the gasoline, these are nothing but the battery. You can see here the yellow one. So the battery will provide the electricity to start the engine and power vehicle electronic accessories. After that there we are using the electronic control module. You can see here the above blue color. Electronic control module ECM. So the ECM will control the fuel mixtures, ignition timing, emission system that will monitor the operation of vehicle, safeguards the engine from a abuse and that will detect and troubleshoot the problems. After that here we are using the exhaust system you can see here. So we can say exhaust system channels the exhaust the gases from engine out through the tailpipe and three way catalyst is designed to reduce the engine out emissions within the exhaust system. After that here we are using the Fuel tank, fuel line and fuel pump, fuel filter. So if we will talk about the fuel filter, that, that is looking like a nozzle from a fuel dispenser that will attaches to the wrist tackle on the vehicle to fill the tank. So here we can fill the tank by using that fuel filter. Here we are using the fuel injection system that will introduce a fuel into a engine combustion chamber for a ignition. Here we are using the fuel line that is a metal tube or we can say a combination of a metal tube and a flexible hose. So that will transfer a fuel from tank to the engine fuel injection system. And here we are using the pump. What it will do? It will transfer. So we can say fuel pump will transfer the fuel from tank to the engine fuel injection system via fuel line. And in fuel tank we are storing the gasoline. So you can say 
when we are using the fuel tank you can say fuel tank or a gasoline it will store that gasoline on a board that vehicle until it is needed by the engine here we are using the internal combustion engine spark ignited so in this diagram if you see fuel is injected into either the intake manifold or the combustion chamber where it is combined with air and a air fuel mixture is ignited by the spark from the spark plug here we are doing the transmission so you can say the transmission system will transfer the mechanical power from engine or vice versa so you can say it will transfer the mechanical from mechanical power from engine and or electrical fraction motor to drive the wheels so this is the block diagram of a gasoline vehicle so these are the need of electric vehicle as we are saying here when we are supposed to use electrical vehicle it will use electric electricity instead of a petrol tank so over dependence on petrol diesel rising petrol diesel prices pollution and the resultant global warming noise in the conventional vehicle that will need for eco friendly vehicle ev and hv that will be the solutions and that will need for a alternate power sources so here we can see now about the electrical vehicle it is a automobile that which propelled by one or more electric motor using the electrical energy that will be stored in electrical energy storage device so we can say when we are supposed to use electrical vehicle at that time the primary components of the electrical vehicle will be motor control power source and the transmission so in terms of control we can precondition the car's temperature set the charge start and stop time enjoy heated seat and steering wheels and even we can decide on a battery percentage so you will know exactly how much it needs to charge before we are supposed to drive it so here we can say lots of electrical vehicle really come into their own not only does the technology behind the electrical vehicle make for really intuitive car the electrical motor also provides almost instant torque that will make them quicker lighter ultimately more enjoyable to drive the car and they are also quieter than the traditional car and that will able to accelerate extremely quick so if you are not going to be late behind at any traffic but if this sounds like that browse our selections of the electrical vehicle hybrids on offer or pop into our showroom to speak to one of our expert sales advisor so here when we are using the electrical vehicle at that time you will get lots of advantages like it will not require gas no emissions and as here we are using the electricity there will be you will get cost effectiveness its noise will be less payback period and it will require less maintenance remaining we will see in the next class thank you